Monday in 1872, four men had a dream to start a football team. Their names were Moses, Peter McNeil, Peter Campbell and William McBeath. They played their first match against Calendar FC. It was 0-0 and it was played at Fleischer's Hall, Glasgow Green. In their second match, they first wore the famous royal blue. They were against Clyde and they won 11 0. Although they had played two matches, they weren't founded until 1873. By 1877, Rangers had reached their first Scottish Cup final. Unfortunately, Rangers had lost out to Vale of Leven. Almost 10 years later, surprisingly, Rangers had made it to the English FA Cup semi-final. Here is a match card from that day. Unfortunately, Rangers lost. 1888 saw the start of the old firm fixture between Rangers and Celtic. The Scottish League Championship started in 1891. And the first title was shared between Rangers and Dumbarton. In 1899, Rangers moved to Ibrox. Here are some pictures of Ibrox through the 90s. Here is me outside Ibrox. This stand was designed by Archibald Leach. Rangers' very first manager was William Wilton, assisted by Bill Struth. Bill Struth became a club legend. He managed the club for 34 years. Rangers recorded their largest league match attendance in 1939 v Celtic. It was 118,567. In 1948-49, Rangers were the first team to win a treble. In 1954, Bill Struth left Rangers and was replaced by Scott Simon. In 1969, Willie Wardle became the Rangers manager. He was in charge on two major days in Rangers history. The first major day was the Ibrox disaster in 1971. Sadly, on that day, 66 people lost their lives. The second major day, Rangers won the European Cup Winners' Cup final. Willie Wardle was replaced by Jock Wallace. Jock Wallace won the treble twice in three seasons. Rangers' seventh manager was John Gregg. He was voted as Rangers' greatest ever player. Unfortunately, Gregg couldn't win the league title in his five years as being manager. In 1983, Rangers signed Ali McCoist, also known as Super Ali. He is Rangers' all-time top goal scorer with 355 goals. Here is me next to one of his European golden boots in the Ibrox Trophy Room. In 1986, Rangers made Liverpool legend Graham Souness player manager. Graham Sinness asked Walter Smith to be his assistant manager. Shortly after Sinness and Smith arrived, Rangers were bought by businessman David Murray. In 1989, Rangers won the first of their nine league titles in a row. In 1991 would be Sinesse 
last season before Walter Smith took over as manager. 1992-93 was one of the best in the club's history. They won the treble. They were one match from the Champions League final. And they went 44 games unbeaten. The next two seasons, Rangers were to make two of the biggest signings in the club's history. 94-95, Brian Loudrop. 95-96, Paul Gascoigne. Both signings helped take Rangers to nine in a row. Rangers clinched their ninth title in a row at the home of Dundee United on May 7th, 1997. End of season 1997-98 was to be the last for Walter Smith. He he was replaced by Dutchman Dick Advocat. He spent £36 million in his first season. He won two league titles and three cups in three seasons before re-signing. Alex McLeish became Rangers manager midway through season 2001-2002. He picked up a struggling team to win the Scottish Cup and the League Cup. In McLeish's first full season, Rangers won the league on the final day of the season by one goal. Unfortunately, under McLeish, Rangers would only win the league once more in 2005. Again, on the final day of the season, this day was known as Helicopter Sunday. February 2006, Rangers replaced McLeish with Paul Le Guin. But he only lasted 11 months. January 2007, an old hero walked back through the front doors at Ibrox to begin a second spell as manager, Walter Smith. He would go on to win three league titles in a row. He also took Rangers to the UEFA Cup final in 2008. May 2011, David Murray sold Rangers after 13 years at the club. Rangers record goal scorer took the manager's seat for the season 2011-2012, Ali McLeist. Rangers unfortunately fell into administration in February 2012. Rangers were to begin season 2012-2013 in League 2, the fourth tier of Scottish football. After three difficult years, McCoist was to leave Rangers to be replaced by Mark Corburton in June 2015. Rangers managed to get themselves from League 2 back to the Premier League in four years. February 2017, with just under two seasons, Mark Warburton left Rangers. Just a month later, Rangers were to make Pedro Cushina the next manager. With Rangers only managing a third place finish in their first two seasons back. So they turned to another Liverpool legend in Stephen Gerrard. Gerrard is the manager to this day as Rangers start season 2020 21. 
To finish your s- some photos of me at Ibrox and with some players. Thank you very much for watching from Aiden.